Fasten your seatbelt. How's it going everyone? My name is Tom and welcome back to another Random Conversations video with Hunter. Hello! And in this one we are going to be talking about our childhood stories, even though we are still in our childhood. And we have more to... Uh, we're in high school. You're yeah, in high school. Also, it ended up the day one of high school. Well, I guess it did. Okay. So, Hunter, tell us a story. Uh, so, this is a story that Tom was actually in. Um, it's the tale of Nip Nip. Oh, Nip. God oh, crap. my God. That son of a bitch. He, um, so one day, like, we were riding home from school, then I'm just like, hey, I need to go to the bathroom. Tom, correct Stop me. Stop drawing, walk a block. Thank you, did you? And so I walked into the bathroom. So, like, the bathroom was near a lake because Lake Controller, I think it was. No, it wasn't Lake Controller. What, what's the lake then? In Arc Flats. Yeah. That was the one. Lake Controller was like two hours away. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. You're going there next week. Yeah, you're right. Um, so, um, whatever the lake is called, it's like a really large lake. We would always go there for Australia Day and hang out. But. That's a completely different story for another episode. Uh, so then I walked into the bathroom. It Lights were shut off. Sand all over the ground, well, in some parts. Then I went to the urinal, you know, did my business. 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 And then I felt this sharp pain on the back of my leg. I turned around, there was a cut on the back of my leg and a crab scurrying away. I wasn't in the bathroom. I was waiting outside. But he came out. I heard like an owl, I think it was. And then he came out and I was like, what happened? And he's like, nip, nip. Nip, nip, nip me. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, nip, nip. Okay, it's my turn. So, right. this is an incredibly short one because I can't remember much about it. I think I was like six, five. And my sister's friend had a birthday party at Hungry Jack's. And um, our whole family was invited. So, what do we do? We go up there, have a good time. And here's me playing in the park, being a child. And I come around the slide, and then the birthday girl comes out and she says, Oh, your family's gone. And I just look at her like, what? And in my head I was debating, wait, this is good. I can, I can eat all the food in, in here. But then I'm realizing now that they will probably kick me out. But yeah, don't think my mum realized till she was like nearly at my house that she left me there. So he came zooming back. Yeah, I was nearly in tears because my mum left me. So <laughs> I use it for blackmail to this day. Use that as an excuse if she ever says get a job. Yep. Oh, there's a fly in my room. Go, Hunter, it's your turn. Uh, so, what should I talk about? Should I talk more about, like, when I was younger before the story that I told? No, it doesn't really matter. Just tell the story. Um, alright, I'll just tell the story of how the first time I um, uh, cracked my head open. Uh, so, I was playing cricket with my, sis with my older sister and with my mum as well. She was the referee because she didn't know how to play cricket. Neither Rap. Did I. Rap. 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 Uh, so then, that was just random. That was um, random. We were, so then my sister hit the ball. I was running after it and I was wearing my mum's sunglasses that were like really, really tinted. So you couldn't see through, so I could barely see through them. <laughs> and I ran, smack, straight into the pole. And I'm just like, ow. And then. That I'm um, a uh, bruise my forehead, and then I started running back to my mom, tripped over, and smell and smack. Oh, smell? No, no, I smashed my face, my the top of my the um of my forehead into the corner of our brick mailbox. Mmm, yeah. And then I was rushed to hospital. 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 Nice. Okay, my yeah. now this one scar I think scar actually scarred me for life. Mm -hmm. Um. Wasn't a legitimate scar, it was just an uh, emotional scar. So I was like eight. My, my mommy told me that. And I made the mistake of watching the Chucky trailer oh, when I'm God. eight. So I was like. I watched that younger, that was an absolute yeah. nightmare. I was like, oh, I'll just turn the light on, I'll be fine, I won't get nightmares. Ha 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 ha. Proved me wrong that same night, I literally nearly peed in my bed because I was that scared. <clears> and then. I, I was that scared that I stopped having nightmares when I was like 10 and I was 8. Two years. Oh, mate. That's why I leave my door open now. Because you never know when a doll's going to go, Hey buddy, you just, just slip, just crack your leg open. Oh, really? I can't sleep with my closet open. 
door open. Huh. I always barricade him off with my um, with my um, bedside table. Nice. Okay, hon. Also, oh, I can't sleep with that open. Oh. Okay. Uh, so, this is sort of a funny story, but it wasn't funny for me at the time. So, it's sort of like Tom's. I was watching a movie. It was called Abominable. It was like this really cheesy 80s movie. Probably. But I was five at the time. Five. Me Disney, and my Disney. parents, we were watching it. Well, Dad and Kelly and my sister were watching it. And so and I, they didn't notice that I was sitting on the ground in front of the TV. Because that's where I would always sit. How do, you, how do they not notice you? The TV was big and it was like mounted to the wall. Oh. And like I was small. Oh so yeah. Yep. And then I watched, so I watched it. And then like at the end of the movie, I'm just like, well, that was a good movie. And then went to bed. Then I heard this bang on my window. Oh, God. Then, like, I bursted into tears. My dog, Zoe, she was only a little puppy, came running and jumped on my bed and sat on top of my face. No, just, no, no one's screaming. No, shut up. And then Dad and Kel, well, Dad ran into my room. Daddy. Just like, what's wrong? And I'm just like, abominable. Abominable. And um, then I pointed out my window. And there was a bird lying on the ground in front of my window. Huh. And then guess what I did the next morning? What? Watched Abominable again. Oh, good I. Yeah, I was that retarded to watch it again. I forgot the title of it, and then I stopped having nightmares. Nice. I definitely have any nightmares, so, yay. Yeah. Oh, that's the end of my story. Yeah, I got it. Yeah? This could be the last one. Yep. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh, yeah. So when I was a young lad, young lady, mm -hmm. I had, I didn't know how to life, so, three things. I wanted my mum to tuck me in a bed, I still do. Um, I needed my mum to wipe my bum hole, and I needed my, <laughs> yeah, and I needed my mum to turn off the shower knobs because I didn't know how to. Okay, the bed one. I used to, I used to scream out, not at night, yeah, at night when I had nightmares, mostly about Chucky, I used to go... Mummy, uh, mummy, uh, and she was like, oh, what's wrong? Half asleep still. And they'd be like, I had a nightmare. Can you sleep with me? She was like, okay. She slept there, and then I think she fell asleep one time. So I woke up the next morning, she was still there. I was like, okay. Second one, the toilet one. When I was sat in the toilet, I needed my mum to wipe my asshole. And I used to go, Mom, I'm finished. And I used to have to okay. bend over, and she used to shove toilet paper up my ass. How old were you at this time? I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, 12. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, then the third one, the shower one, I used to say, Mom, I'm ready to get out. And she'd come in, she used, to have to, she used to have to turn off the knob and dry me with a towel. I learned how to turn the knob off, but then I needed her to dry me. Oh, God. Yeah. Living with a... Living with a broken family, like, if you live with, like, in my family, which is a broken family, like, parents hate each other, um, we, I had to learn everything, like, myself. Oh, damn. With some of my sister's help. You know how to teach your t kids how to go potty? Every time they do a solid one, you give them an M&M. &M. <laughs> okay, well, this was this episode of Random Conversation with Hunter. Yeah. Um. See you next time. I love you.